Okay, guys, today I'm super excited because I get to try out some microphones I've never used before by Bayer. Is it Bayer or is it Bayer? What do you What do you think? I'm gonna call them Bayer. Bayer Dynamic. They make excellent products, you know, all sorts of audio products, headphones, microphones. But these are the M160 ribbon mics. So I love, love a good ribbon mic. These are cool because they're not super duper expensive. They're about $6.99 US dollars, which is awesome. So I'm really excited to try them out. Let's unbox it, put it on a couple different things, see how it sounds and see what we think. Okay. So general feeling on the mic is it's really fantastic for several things. So uh, specifically, I'm really liking it on my overheads. I'll come back to that. I also love it on acoustic guitar. I am a sucker for ribbons on drums and acoustic guitars. So uh, that's just, they sound phenomenal. It's nice having individual mics. So the only ribbon mics that I own prior to the 160s was my r88 which is a stereo ribbon microphone so it's one mic you can't separate them there i think they're also large ribbons whereas these mics have smaller ribbons so there is a there is a difference in sound and one thing as far as the drum overhead something that i really really i found out that i missed um, because I had been using my R88 as my drum overhead. And when I put the 160s up as overheads, first position I did, for whatever reason, because I never do this, is I put them in ORTF. Uh, and I was not pumped on how they sounded. I was a little confused. Um, but then I sort of realized like, oh, I never use ORTF as my drum overhead position. So let's try spaced pair, right? So because I had been using uh, a stereo microphone that just has a fixed position, I I just, that's the position I would use. Um, so I went and put the 160s into stereo pair, into as a spaced pair. <laughs> and uh, I was really, 
like it was immediate you know when i because what i did is i recorded the drum kit i recorded the same little bit on drums in ortf and all i did was change the position of the mics kept the levels and everything the same uh to spaced pair and i i forgot how much i loved spaced pair as as a mic placement so basically when i put the mics into spaced pair over my drums it was clear to me that i really really liked these mics as drum overheads now i would as i continue to use them i'm going to try them out on a few other mic placements and i will i will make more videos about this i've actually been working on testing these mics trying them on different projects and capturing what i can on video for for this video for three weeks now so i, I can this will just go on forever so i just wanted to put this one out to share my thoughts and my experiences on how i've used it so far and it has been it's been so nice it's it's really nice to be able to get your hands on a ribbon mic for on a quality let me clarify on a quality ribbon mic for 700 bucks um and, and be able to use that kind of like a i don't want to say a 58 but just having it because it's the build of it is is very portable right it's not a big giant mic it's like a nice handheld mic another thing i'll mention about the the drum overheads thing is i had been set on using the r88 as my overheads from now on until i used the 160s now what's cool about the 160s is because they're smaller ribbons it actually makes more sense to me to use them on drum overheads and to use the r88 as a room mic on drums which it's great. It's such a great match because I love the sound of ribbons on overheads, but I didn't like the way that the, when I was using the R88 as my overhead, it, it I was getting a lot of cymbal stuff. And the way that I like to place, if I'm doing XY, that I like to place the mic, it was just getting too much cymbals. So with the spaced pair, I could really dictate where those mics were pointed and get the imaging that I really like, which I'll just give you the summary of. I like putting the spaced pair mics directly over the toms, right? So your imaging, in, uh, the imaging to me makes sense because the snare is, is in the middle of the toms, essentially. And that relationship, I just put them directly over the top of the toms and then I'd grab an XLR and I just match the distance and the height. And with these biodynamic mics, they have little red dots on each side of the the top of the mic. I, would, I don't know which one, the case, the pop filter thing. Um, and that is showing you which direction the ribbon is being stretched across from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So you can use those red dots to make sure that the ribbons are matching in the direction that you're placing them and once I matched that and I placed it over the toms with the snare in the middle the imaging is glorious and because they're not pointed at the symbols or like too close to any symbol it sounds phenomenal so I can you know sometimes depending on the song I'll smack the symbol or other drummers will smack the symbols too hard and it just doesn't sound super great um, so it's nice to be able to get the rumble and the the actual depth of the drums and then have the cymbals be like the smooth sort of accent of the drum kit so I, I i really i'm gonna be keeping my m160s as my drum overheads for now and i will be using my r88 as a drum room mic which just works out perfectly because that's what i wanted the mic for um now i used it on acoustic guitar and it sounded amazing on acoustic guitar uh, I also am using a Martin. It's a 12 string Martin, but it has like a large body. So it just sounds amazing already. Uh, so, you know, good guitar, good mic makes a extremely mediocre guitar player sound great. Um, so that was awesome. And I, I can definitely tell what that mic on acoustic is going to be right for because Sometimes you want a really bright sound for acoustic and sometimes you want a rich, warm, deep, like 
just there's there's a character to using a ribbon mic on acoustic guitars that is very unique and just beautiful. So I will absolutely be using them on acoustic whenever I can. Now, in regards to output gain of this mic, um, it's a low at low level output gain. So if you're using it without a cloud lifter, you're going to have to turn that mic pre all the way up. Um, and it's a good, clean, warm sound. But if you want more juice, you're going to need to use some sort of gain booster, like a cloud lifter or the, the Soyuz, Soyuz. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's some sort of gain booster um, that, you know, usually there's like they require phantom power or something like that. But you can get them for like 100 bucks or something. And that will just juice your signal up without adjusting. Some of them do adjust the color of the sound. Um, from my experience, the Cloudlift CL1 and CL2 do the best job of not affecting the color of, you know, boosting the signal. But yeah, otherwise, it's they're they're phenomenal ribbon mics, and they're, this is this is a unique sort of review in how I would personally use them. Everyone's going to use microphones differently. I watched I watched another review, and the guy it was an amazing review. But um, it's not necessarily how I personally would use the mics, and that's just because I do different stuff. So um, the one thing I didn't get to try this out on that I really think it would be awesome on is guitar amps, and I just I don't have a I don't have a speaker here like a cab, so I really want to try them on that. But I did not get to this time. But for everything else, I've been really really happy with these. So if you're considering getting some ribbon mics. Um, these are really great. Um, I think they're $6.99 US dollars. Dollars. That, it won't break the bank. Um, they're not necessarily like a $100, you know, entry budget mic, but $6.99 for a quality build. Like, this is a quality microphone. It's heavy, it's strong, it's beautiful. This is not, you know, obviously it's a ribbon mic. You want to be careful with ribbon mics. You want to be careful with all of your mics, but, but this is a nice build for what it is and I'm, I'm really really excited to use these on more projects so thank you biodynamic for sending these to me biodynamic sent these mics to me for me to review they did not pay me to uh, review them they did not have any influence on what i say or think about them but um but yeah these these are really cool so i would i would actually i would strongly recommend checking them out um you know rent them if you can before buying them see what you think if, how you like to use them but they i really love them and these will be used in the, the future a lot by me so if you guys like the video consider hitting the like button for the youtube algorithm the subscribe button so you guys can get notified whenever there's a new video coming out and uh yeah if you guys want to support the channel you can go to andrewmastersmusic.com give me a follow on instagram Andrew Masters Music. That's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.